women's movements that were kind of taking place in independence in the 20th century were really about suffrage and about work. You have a lot of groups like uh, League for Women Voters. There was a chapter that was a tri-city chapter, so it included Kansas City Independence and other cities as well of women gaining the right to vote. Josephine Yates was really influential in Kansas City. She became the first teacher of Lincoln University that was in uh, Jefferson City, and then she moved to Kansas City and became president of two different organizations, the Women's League of Kansas City, and then the National Association of Colored Women. Bess Truman was really well known for her work helping Harry Truman. She was really big in helping him in his political career. She was an advisor. He ran a lot of opinions through her. Another woman from Independence who, who was kind of really influential at this time period was Ardella Palmer. She was the first woman elected in a city position. Before she became city assessor, she worked at the Independence schools, and she was actually Bess Truman and Harry Truman's teacher. She had to quit her teaching position when she got married, which was very common and one of the kind of struggles that a lot of women um, had to deal with. So you have this generation of women who want to get out in the workforce, so they're expected to work and help their families make income and make a living. And then after they get married, it's kind of, they're pushed kind of back in. So they're kind of supposed to live in two worlds during this time. And you can still kind of see that today with women, you know, supposed to have it all.